So every so often, us four guys here get together and open things up to the whole wide world of Mecca on a little something we like to call the RoboCast. Yep. Yes, sir. And as I'm playing with my new audio setup, today on the agenda we've got um, the average token talk. Uh, we've got our 20 questions for uh, S, who's just finished playing OG Second. Yes, indeed. Oh, yeah. We've got Gendums. We've got Action Toy Talk. And then some final thoughts from Red Cell. So, yep. what do you say we get this clock started up on our Toku Talk? All right. What was that? Uh-huh. What is Something's very loud. What is going on? Uh, one minute or two. <laughs> Let's oh, get the to- <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, so, uh, moving right along after that. So uh, then. What we've got on uh, deck first is, well, there's a new season of Occupy Ranger coming out, and I'm excited as hell. The second season, no one expected would come. Oh, we all expected it. We just figured no. they would go against our expectations, as usual. No, no, no. We hoped there would be a second season, but expected if there wouldn't be. I don't know, man. I mean, I'm really kind of trying to figure out how the hell they're going to, you know, you know, like the end of the first season was like, oh, we're some sort of TV show. And I'm like, show right? within the show. How are you going to top that? Um, well, it certainly seems as though they're trying to do the whole parody of second seasons or uh, second runs of something in general with cast changes and costume changes. So, oh god, don't gonna, even... I think hmm. they're doing it on purpose. That it that's going to be part of what the humor is. Well, I did also hear that um because of the um the doodle bops on the sides of the helmets of Akiba Yellow and uh, Blue during production and during when they shot action scenes and stuff, the uh, little head doodle bop things kept on breaking off. That kind of explains why they went with the buns and stuff. Mm-hmm. And 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 Bio Bio has seen it too, and I know you guys have too. But uh-huh. the upgrade for Akiba Red is just. Let me light my cigarette real quick. <laughs> Delicious cancer sticks. It, it it is it. It's about the same thing as watching the uh, the the Dragon Ball Z KFC commercial. Wait, <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> there was a dra- what? I'll tell you later. It's hilarious. Anyway, it's about the same thing as watching the Dragon Ball Z KFC commercial. <laughs> there There's was like Dragon this Dragon Ball this... Z KFC commercial. Seriously. <laughs> It's yes. like it looks like a Zekun is lying on her side, and it's like been fused to his shoulder. It's like uh, hugging him, and, and I had seen one of the scan and like one of the things promoting the show and stuff, and it was like, and Akiba Red was all like, you know, cuddling the thing on his side, and I'm like, ah, uh, that's creepy, yo. <laughs> It's uh, about in line with what Akiba Ranger gives us, though. I don't know, Coach. Uh, I guess. I don't. I don't know, man. That that was just, you know, holy sh. I, I mean, wow. he's lit. The head, like, there's another head, literally, like, on his shoulder. Like, he, the actor has no friggin' moving room on one side. So I guess two heads are better than one. Or a head and a head. <laughs> Well, uh, we're, we're, I'm gonna have to see this for myself. So uh, it's, it's, it's to, probably to not a... come up with any kind of meaningful way of looking at things here. So, moving right along now to the <laughs> world of official Sentai. Yeah. Uh, we got a new one. Yes. Yes. Uh, Volt Sword Sentai Kyoryuja. Kyoryuja. That uh, yeah. Weird yeah. name. Yeah, you have to scream it's... it. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. That's what you have to do with all of them. Have you noticed that every single time, especially... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
but the uh, the the announcer kind of makes it seem, you know, uh, and if you guys know who Shigeru Chiba is, he's fucking great. Go watch the shit that he's in. He's in he's in Kaneko Man. He's Kaneko Man Soldier. He was in Pat Labor. He's a he's almost as good as Nobuyuki Hiyama back around. Was it was it Go Go uh, that Hiyama? No, 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 no. I don't know. I think it was Go Buster. No, I can't. I don't even know. I'm fucking stupid. Fuck me. It's usually the team that shouts it. Well, I mean, like, the announcer and stuff. Like, he's like well, the... yeah, there's the announcer and stuff, but that's... They got a whole big <laughs> stock full of those, and the great oh. thing about them is that most of them, not all of them, but most of them do sound the same. You saying Domo Kashu sounds the same as Nobuyuki Hiyama? Is, is that what you're saying? Not quite, but, that's... um... You gotta understand that a lot of these voice actors are pretty darn good at what they do, which is why they keep them in stock. The way it works over there is not that they can just pick up whoever the heck they want off the streets like it is over here. It's very similar to what they've got in some studios over here, actually. They've got their in-house VAs. But in the case of Japan, it's the uh, it's the fellows that they've had for a while and have tested tried and true. Because American studios have only been around for so long, it's largely the same group of people that were just plucked up off the streets uh, back in the 80s and 90s. And that does mean that you do still have a lot of hit and miss there, which is uh, why there's a few rather good ones. Yeah, that's why it's that's why I'm saying hit and miss rather than a limited selection of gems among stock rocks. Well, you know, not everybody can be a Noriko Wakamoto and just pull, be pulled off of the, the SWAT team and then, you know, as the voice, yeah. the coach from uh, Gunbuster. I mean, you know, what the hell? Uh, again, know? though, that's an example of you can grab any – of you could grab somebody and if they're already good at it, then they're a uh, knock out of the park. There are good American voice actors. There is such a thing as yeah. Peter Cullen. Yeah. There are uh, quite now, a number of them that are rather notable, almost yeah. – Wakamoto level notable. Yeah, I, I'd say. I wanna, oh. But let's uh, let's get back on topic here yeah. with uh, yes, Kyoryuji. Um, um, the one thing I want to bring up is with Kyoryuji, Kyo, Kyoryuji, Kyoryuji, Kyoryuji. Yeah. Yes, let's just just Kyoryuji. shout it every time. Kyoryuji. Yeah. But there's one thing about Kyoryuji that um, that uh, the, the gimmick that they've got for it, the uh, the, the the battery thing and the whole henshin with the gun. You know that's. And then, you know, do the samba. Do, 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 do. But um, it's really interesting. And as far as I know, uh, I want the toys. I want the role play toys so hard so I can just grab the gun and just constantly pop it open, put it in a barrier, close it up, bang, bang. Um, it sounds so sure. I could say I could take that so many horrible ways, but I won't because I'm a nice guy. It sounds <laughs> as though you are reacting in exactly the way they want you to. Slash cynicism. I mean, yep. it, isn't it? Isn't it like the whole thing is like they they want you to to just you know they want adults and kids to grab up these toys and just go. I've got some battery. I'm gonna stick in the gun. I'm gonna go bang bang samba time. It's a battery that runs on batteries being inserted into a gun that likely also runs on batteries. A big battery pyramid. Battery Oh, would you? Okay. Um, I'll rant about that later. But um, I'll rant about that later. Uh, let's uh, move on while we got two minutes left. Let's move on to the world of Common Rider right now. Wizard is in full swing. Oh, yeah. yeah. The and most magic, bitches. And, the most uh, recent... Oh. Uh, there's a... Am I uh, completely misinformed on this, or is there some kind of movie coming up? Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, the, uh, the new... Um, uh, fuck uh it's the it's the last superhero tyson we had last year superhero tyson z from what i understand is gonna have uh Kyoguer, uh wizard and a bunch of metal heroes like yeah there's like five or six we've seen scans wait of. they're making another one yes huh. they're making another one and they're getting Makes the same sense. guys who did the first one to do this new one so okay. expect to be from what everybody says sorely disappointed I'm like, hey, fuck you, I'm gonna enjoy it. In this thread, opinions. You know, so long 
you know, so long as we don't get the plot rehashed, because I'm starting to, as much as I like ragging on the guy, I'm starting to get just a little bit sick of it. It's all Decade's fault. Yeah. Uh, remember, well, what, what, whatever happened to blaming uh, Golgum anyway? I mean, you know, where, where'd that go? You know? What? Who? Decade turned out to be an even stupider not anything. I don't even want to call him a villain or an anti-hero or anything like that because it just doesn't work. Every, uh, nothing about him makes sense. It's a whole other discussion I can go on for another day. Point yeah. is, Wizard's still in full swing. It's not as uh, yeah. as upbeat as, say, um, some, of the, some of the other stuff. Out. Well, Double was only sometimes upbeat, but Double had a nice balance of things. No, yeah. yeah. Fours. Fours is the one that was upbeat, you know, the whole yeah, friendship. Was definitely, yeah, was definitely upbeat. Um, but uh, that's the point. Wizard's good. New uh, super new new superhero wars is going to be coming out, and it's going to be fun. Moving right along uh, to the next item on the agenda. It is time for me to shine. Yes. Um, S here just played uh all the way through, like start to finish. Um, OG se uh, start to finish OG second Super Robot Wars OG second and um, yeah. from what he's been telling us in our Skype convos it's been pretty awesome to say the, the, the very least I expected that though well yes of course we all expected well, yeah. this thing to be <clears throat> awesome it's not like we have had it's not like we haven't had a bad Super Robot Wars game before lies <laughs> Neo <laughs> <laughs> Still haven't played that one, but I will also go out and say that 64 was a little bit... Yeah. But anyway, um, name of the game, people. We're going to be talking about OG Second. Now, what we're going to do, instead of me having to break down everything and explain it all to you, what we're going to do is that I'm going to have each and every one of you guys ask me a question for the span of 10 minutes. That means ask away, ask me anything. I don't care. Just give me a question. Do it. All right. Go. we got 10 minutes on the clock right now. Let's go. Is it true that you can get a double Tatsumaki Zankan toe? Yes, you can. Because the way you can do it is you can get a skill in the game called Attack Again. Now, Attack Again works so long as you have a skill stat of above 20 or above the enemy, you can do an Attack Again. Now, here's how it breaks down. When you do an Attack Again, it's like doing a support attack for yourself. Now, in order to do the Tatsumaki Zankan toe double, you have to set up a Sanger and Ratzel. And then pretty much it's straight forward from there. Nice. <laughs> Next question! Ratzel, of course, being the character, not our own. Um, the next question is, how is Masaki and Cybuster in this game? Masaki's my favorite character. Cybuster's my favorite unit. And I just really want to know what they're like. He is okay. Now, the reason I say this is because... Just okay? <laughs> just okay. Now, there's a reason behind this. The reason I say that Masaki and the Cybuster is okay is that unless you actually put some love and care into the sidebuster and give Mosky the necessary abilities he kind of won't shine as he used to in the past games now the thing i also want to point out is that if you really want Mosky and the sidebuster to get really good in the very beginning of the game you have to get the 100 kill requirement on Mosky's route in order to unlock the extra attacks for the masakishan units and that's about it and good. <laughs> shouldn't be too hard no, no, no. Next especially, question! Especially with me fanboying. Next. It uh, looks like uh, two units from Super Robot Wars D have made their official debut for the first time. Mm -hmm. Yes, they have. Uh, what do you think about that? They, they sound pretty cool. With some French names going on. Uh, yeah, the uh, Al Chavillier and uh, Blanche Niger. Uh, I would say that the um, the Blanche Niger and the, uh, the Chevalier and the Niger are pretty decent real type units um i the only reason i use them throughout the game is so i can get rim and josh's kill counts up to a 70 and meet the requirements so i can get the better unit forte gigas oh now, god that thing's badass <laughs> shut up it's awesome I know. he said it was badass what are you setting him up for I'm, I'm sorry i messed up anyway but, um, Fail. anyway now, now the upgrades for the uh Niger and shoveler are amazing the forte gigas on his own is a very good unit it can tank it can deal damage it has low energy cost for its attacks but the thing that puts the um <laughs> upgrades for uh chevalier and Niger is that they have better cut-ins uh they have 
better attacks and stuff. But overall, I'd say that the Forte Gigas is probably the better unit because when you actually get it, it comes with four upgrades in each of its stat bars. And on top of that, for the uh, skill parts, you get three energy pluses. So it, overall, I think the Forte Gigas makes better use of um, Josh and Rim's pilot skills than the uh, the Chevalier and the Nij did. So yeah, good. I mean, o- overall, they were good units, but the real thing you want to go for is the Forte Gigas. Next question. Okay. What is your favorite stage level thing, whatever they're calling them in this game? Favorite stage? That would have to be. Let's see here. The favorite, my most favorite stage would be the last stage in the space route, where you go up against Zinzanon in this really badass looking giant armed super kick ass robot thing. It's just, it's. You'd have to, and if I told you what happened in that stage, that would be spoiling things for some people who haven't played the game yet. We've already spoiled a lot of things, and we're gonna have a disclaimer up front that says, "Don't yeah. listen if you don't want spoilers." <laughs> Pretty much. But, any, but anyway, um, yeah, the, the, that stage right there, you get the um, like it was back in F final, you get not, you get the uh, the three extra um, uh, guest guest units, uh, Rob, Aquila, and uh, Zeb, to help you in that stage alone. And let me tell you, that stage, oh my god, gave me such a good adrenaline rush. Oh, I loved it. Hmm. Mm-hmm. But anyway, that's partially my most favorite stage right there. Our Next st- question. So, favorite mech in the game? Favorite mech in the game? That would have to be... Oh, that's a good question. Uh... So this is the one he gets hung up on. I thought for sure you were going to get hung up on favorite stage, because... That's usually what anybody does when you get asked about your favorite I, anything. Is just pretty much. Well, I yeah, I, I, I like so many of them, but um, favorite <laughs> Mac, I that that would definitely be the one that stumps me. See, uh, the I, I use just about every of them, but the one that I u- love using the most is um, shit. I have so many favorites. Actually, I'm gonna come out and say this. My favorite one was the Garm raid and the Garm raid. I love the design of the Garm raid, and then when it becomes bl- when you get Blaze. Oh my god, that giant drill arm, and then you can swap forms with it and stuff. Ooh, I love the Garm Raid Blaze so much. But the uh, Cerberus and the Cerberus Ignite can go suck a dick. I don't care. Because Ow. drill arms are everything. <laughs> exactly. Next question. <clears throat> Is there anything else that has drills? Yes, that would be the Grungus Type 3. Grungus Type 3, the Kurogane, and I think that's a about it, not counting Garm Raid Blaze, since I already mentioned him. Oh, right. Oh, but of course the Kurogane has the giant drill. It, 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 but I, I think that's as far, as far as when it comes to drills and stuff for um for Mecha in that game. Next question! Well, they don't have to be primary weapons, remember. No, no, no. But I, I think that's that's about it, really. I'm not sure I might have to go back through it and check again, but I mean, that's the ones I remember having it. But anyway, next question. Uh, any units you liked in uh, other games that we haven't seen for a while and they come back here? Like, like, uh, ga- like ones that haven't been in other uh, have been in uh, other SRW games that haven't made an appearance in OG yet. Uh, well, like, uh, it says that there's some that are making debuts in this game. That makes it sound like they haven't been in a game for a while. Oh well, when they say that when they're making a debut, that means they haven't. Oh wait, now I know what you mean. Oh, uh, then you're talking about the uh, the SRW, the the D units, the uh, the real robot regiment units, uh, MX. Yep, I believe did, that's what he's talking about. Yeah. Um, what was the question again? Well, uh, any units from previous? Well, I'll rephrase it. Any units from previous games that uh, you're excited to see again in this one? Oh yes. Okay, that that's it. The SRX, um, Cybuster, um, the Granzon, um, oh shit, uh, the uh, Wild Rabbiter and uh, Ruger, um, uh, the Type 3, uh, the Type 0, the Type 0 is amazing, the Soul Gain, uh, the Visaga, just there's a lot of them, but the main ones I was really looking forward to using is the SRX, the Rabbiter, and the Ruger. Those are my favorite ones to use the most out of all of them, except for the new ones that I was talking about. Right. Next question. Uh, uh, favorite attack. 
favorite attack would have to be the Hypertronium Buster Cannon. Of course. Uh-huh. I mean, really, when you take a robot that turns into a cannon that's used by an even bigger robot, and you shoot a beam, like, into the motherfucker that goes into the sun and makes the sun explode? Holy shit, man, that's a great attack! That's... Yep. <laughs> that's Korean anime tier material right there. Yeah. <laughs> You know the ones I'm talking about. Oh, Thanks, yeah. Gentlemen. Hmm. Um, I think we got time for a couple more, actually. Um, uh, any returning units that you feel like maybe they're not as good as they used to be? Yeah, Vaisaga. Back in, um, when I played them on the GBA when it was uh, OG 1 and 2, the Vaisaga was this really great unit that I loved using with Lamy and stuff. And it was the same thing in... OGS for the the PS2 and stuff, but I found that when I actually when you got them like around in the late teens, like after the EX route, uh, the Vaisaga kind of really fell short than what it used to back in OG1. So I, I mean, I used it, but it was like it's not as good as it used to be. You, Next you, uh, you hinted that uh, Cybuster was in that boat as well. Yeah, um, I, I think it's because you have to. Uh, you're compensating for the other, um, the other uh, Lord of Elemental units like uh, Gades, Gronvel, uh, Diablo, uh, Valcian R. Diablo, uh, meh. I love Diablo. Shut your mouth. No. Well, uh, there's a nice little point of contention for you right there. Uh, I think we got time for one more. Well, and, um, there's, okay. There's, there is one thing I would like to say. I mean, I'm gonna. I mean. I'm, I think I want to... Well, go ahead and ask the question. I'll probably say it in the All final right. box and stuff. The final question. Mm -hmm. Is there any theme song that Rome does not override? No. <laughs> <laughs> and and with that, we can close out. It's been ten minutes exactly. Um, Sweet. Gundam. Yes. yes. Gundams. We'll spend five minutes on this one. Um, uh, Unicorn. I, you know, oddly enough, I haven't seen Unicorn yet. I haven't. Oh. What? Uh, I mean, I don't blame you, because, I mean, they come out once a month, and if you don't follow no, certain websites... every, every six, six months. Oh, no, every, every my mistake. To not yeah. keep track of Unicorn is an epic fail. Uh, I, 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 I don't know, Ratchelot. I mean, really, for me... um. Unicorn, it looks great. It's just, it's like, oh, well, another Gundam series. What to do? I don't care. Well, it's better than what we've been having. No, no, no. It's another UC Gundam series. There is a distinct difference. Are we going to have this whole argument about, you know, uh, no, saying... Asteration, dirty AU peasant scum? Cause, no, you know... I'm just saying people make a big deal about it because it's another UC series. And it is. I don't, I don't see, I don't see the point behind that. It's a it's a UC series. What it is is it's um it's a it's an OVA adaptation. It's what it is is it's a UC OVA, which means that regardless of how much the plot turns into a total train wreck or whatever, you're going to have some redeeming value simply by looking at it. Oh, so we're gonna have another double eighty three on our hands, huh? Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Maybe. But um. <laughs> We haven't had any directorial changes yet this time. I, I I don't know. Just just for me, it's just you know when I see a new Gundam series, it's just like oh wow, Gundam, more toys and model kits and shit that I don't care about. And eh, time to go watch Kamen Rider or Super Sentai or something that actually matters. You mean the pot calling the kettle black? You yes, your, I, yes. Yeah, I'm... you and your toys and figures and all that other stuff that comes out of all that as well that you wanted to buy because of what Kiro. Kyoto was coming out with. Point that's, is, we're all different. united in our to in our toyetic fandoms here, and we should not try to fault one another for doing that. And as Bandai says, just as planned. Well, I mean, Shit! Saying... they had me going. <laughs> what? What the hell was that? That was Bandai playing me for a fool. Yep. I don't... They want people to be obsessed with the toys. They want people to go buy them. Look because it makes them money. Yeah, I don't care. I like my MGs. On and the... by there. giving them money, we get more awesome stuff. Usually. 
So, yeah, but, but, I but see no I'm problem the, with it. I'm going to have to call you out on here because usually some of that awesome stuff ends up as web shop exclusives. Ugh. True enough. That's just that's later on in the cast though. That OVA, that OV, that Ver OVA MG one one hundred unicorn sitting on my desk there wasn't a web shop exclusive. No, yeah. because they knew people like us would buy it either way. But anyway, back the on point. the subject of Gundams, the Katoki Ver age reached its end. <sighs> and we already, and it sucked. Let's just leave it at that. Yeah, yeah, it's just it kind of sucked. Are, 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 am I gonna have another laughing fit here, like I do? <laughs> you mentioned that it was something but a fan fiction. Yeah, it generally <laughs> was. I mean. <laughs> Even into, I mean, it was the same sort of thing I do with Black Gundam. It was original universe and all that. But yep. I would venture to say that my material is slightly more original than that. If, yeah. If Hino was even writing anything to begin with, we've had the uh, word coming out of the pipeline that he was kind of conceited and lazy towards his, towards his uh, people that were working under him. Which is strangely a far cry from what Fukuda of Gundam Seed Fame was doing, which was he barely, he was kind of frantic about the whole thing and was com and I'm actually the, quite glad that he was that it was yeah. over. And on the subject of Gundam Seed, apparently, as they did with Gundam Seed, they're doing an HD shitty upscale of Destiny. Uh, uh, it's, it's whatever. Uh, uh, is it is it gonna be an upscale? Because I know they've been like redrawing the entire original anime. Yeah, they the really you can't you 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 can't you can't fix it. There's no there's no fucking point. Why would you do Precisely. this? I mean, unless you unless you want to <laughs> fix it from the beginning and completely replace a whole bunch of stuff like what our uh, Chilean friend is doing, but they're not gonna do that because. No, they, no, they, they 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 couldn't do what Ban Presto <clears throat> did in Super Robot War Z and actually improve Scene Destiny. No, but, that'd be that'd be too fucking easy. But that's because crossover madness stuff. Yeah, uh, we gotta move along here. Uh, we're gonna talk about action toys. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> what have, so action what do we what do what, what have we got? Bio. Throw first off, first. I'd like to say that was a very half-hearted yay, and that all of us should have a much better yay going on. One, two, three. Yay! yay! There we go. Anyway, where do I start? Uh, this month, we are getting, uh, for Black Rock Shooter fans, we're getting Black Gold Saw. We're getting a Revel Tech R Jet from uh, Zone of Enders, uh, Figure Arts Rider Man. Oh, cool. And then we begin uh, Web Shop Hell with Deno Super Climax Form, Groundine and Skydine from the new uh, Forze movie, uh, Ryuga from Ryuki, and Water Style from Wizard. Uh, yeah. The web shop you exclusive stuff is teased. well because of all the web shop exclusive stuff. Uh -huh. It's common knowledge at this point. We really don't need to harp on it as much as we have. We all know that there's there's definitely limitations. There's got to be some reason for doing it. It's I, I don't see that a it's point. Not good. I agree that it's not good business practice to just keep it all there, but there's got to be some kind of reason for it. Yeah. Uh, well, I, 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 Oh, like, material, ahead, like material, like material limitations for or for whatever reason. Uh, yeah, if I'm sure we all know at this point, the price of oil is going up, and oil makes plastic. So, well, it, that's not that, that's that's stupid. I can but, understand uh, you know side stuff and everything, but I mean, and then when they first released uh, Wizards figure arts and stuff, it was flame style. Like, oh, cool, we're gonna get all the other styles and stuff, land, wa wind, and water. or fucking web shops and stuff. I'm like, okay, I can understand that. Then we can get the basic forms out of the way and, you know, make room for the Dragos. Then Flame Drake, Flame Drago comes out. I'm like, okay, cool. We're going to start seeing, you know, the, 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 the other Drago forms. Wrong! Nope. <laughs> like, no. Well, no, though, for other... all we know, they could be brought out of that thing if they prove popular enough. Something I, I have to ask, though, uh, that actually I had to wonder about is, is the uh, import market really that uh, profitable to to them? I mean, why else well, would they ever put since, it only in the web shop? Well, ever since Bandai kind of pulled the whole Bandai America thing, they've been able to import the stuff directly, and that gets them even more money. 
at least in terms of DVDs and whatnot. It could be the well, same way for the toy division, although they still have the toy division over here. So the short they, answer of it is I have no fucking clue. Bandai's huh. mode of thinking is fucking stupid. Anyway, um, moving on. I, I don't even want to discuss this shit anymore. It's fucking stupid. Moving on, <laughs> there's stuff you're excited for. Yes. You're actually able to get. Yes, the stuff that yep. we can afford. It's not costing in rape dollars, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, uh, Yen, now known as rape dollars. Yeah, April's looking good. Uh, we're getting Super Robot, Chogoken, Horyu, and Enryu. Uh, Flame oh, Dragon. Oh, yeah. Oh, and they're yeah, gonna and Horyu and Enryu are going to come with part of the uh, big order room. Now, from what I understand, uh, Furyu and Raryu is going to be another web shop exclusive. Yep, and so and is Mike Sounders the 13th. What? Yep. Whoa. That Mike better be Sounders. fucking that better be fucking chibi robo form for Mike Sounders because if they actually bring out regular Mike Sounders, I'm gonna pitch a motherfucking fit. Why? If they bring because... out regular Mike's if they bring out regular Mike Sounders, it's gonna see an international release. Especially since Gal Gigar first season at least got dubbed over here. Oh yeah. yeah. Now the question bio is is it Chibi Robo or is it actually Mike Sounders the thirteenth? Uh, I'll check that out. I think it, and sadly, uh, I think it, oh, no, it is the Chibi Robo. We're saved. Oh, thank God. <laughs> there is a God and he loves me today. The, What's wrong the, with normal? But the really sad part is, is he comes with the main monitor screen that all the chairs need to connect to. If you want to make the big order room. Now, the question is, does he also come with Bari Barine, the little thing he flies around in and shit that can be? No, that screen? would be way too big. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, that's, yeah. That's that I, makes me comfortable at least. Yeah. No, he he comes with uh one chair, a set of chairs, uh the monitor and that little maid robot, uh piggy. What? Are you fucking shitting me? Yeah. He's actually, he's actually and the deal with... breaker is piggy. What? Wow. Why? Why do you do this to me? I, I get up and then let's you move just... on before ass has another ass rage. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, continuing from there, uh, what do we got? We were in April. Yeah, we got uh, yeah, Flame Dragon as ass mentioned earlier. Uh, he's looking pretty good. Uh, Deno liner form, which I'm happy about because uh, I got a Sochak Henshin Zeronos, and the Sochak Henshin of liner form is really hard to get. Why is that? It's you know uh, aside from it being the arm the older armor trans and shit because uh, it's it's just because uh, I th that was near the end where they were emerging they were becoming figure arts so uh, they were I think at that point like uh, I remember uh, the Socha Kenshin of climax form is just next to impossible to get because at that point they were like eh, hey figure arts yeah and then five years down the line we finally started seeing Dino figure arts. Yeah, That's not exclusives. Yeah, later on we're yeah. getting uh yeah, now we're getting liner form and we're getting uh axe form, but he's gonna be an exclusive. That only means that gun and rod, two of my favorite ones, are gonna be web shops too. And I really fucking love gun form. Anyway. Nice. Yeah, hurricane style is gonna be a web shop, land style is gonna be a web shop. And we move into May, where we're getting a Revel Tech Ev Evangelion uh, 01 and Mark 6 set all now together. The, uh, now, the 01, is that the one with the, the whole extra arms and shit? Uh, let me check. Uh, I think it's just the unit one. Yeah, it's, it's just the standard purple one. Okay. Because uh, I saw, I, I had seen production images of a prototype of the one for the new movie that has the four arms and shit. But no. uh, unit but um, I now uh, another thing I want to ask you is um the Revil Tech Kaniku Man. That's the one I'm looking forward to. Oh, uh, I was mostly looking up Mech. Sorry. That's okay. We kind of you know tend to go. Well, on. we we do kind of got to stay within those confines and stuff. I'm sorry. But, I'm sorry. But uh, um, we got one thing I would like to bring up from my end before we uh uh we we're uh, actually got we actually gotta reach the uh, end of things here. We got one more thing I'd like to bring up, and that is I've just opened up things here on Amazon, and um, holy freaking shit, I want that Master Grade Tall Geese. Oh, that yes. thing is gorgeous. Oh, yeah. oh, my God. That thing is even better than the, than the robot Damashi. 
Oh my god, it's so sick. Of course it is. It's badass. Master Grade. It would look Have really good with my... I just a uh, little while ago got a, uh, a Verka Master Grade Epion. Oh. How is that one? Oh, that thing... Uh, you, the did one you thing you do have to watch thing? out. Oh, I did finish that thing. The one thing you do gotta yeah. watch out for is um, the uh, whip has a nice little locking mechanism, so you can pull it apart, and it becomes all loose and stuff. And then you can pose it, and then push it back together, and it locks in place. That's what you she gotta. Said. Be, you gotta be really careful <laughs> not to try and move it while it's locked in place, or else the uh, little bits of the pieces of the whip will um, snap off. Ouch. Now, the, I, I remember seeing the uh, production images of the, uh, the 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 mobile armor form. I remember that the feet can open up like jaws. Is that can it do that? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I saw a review of that thing. Uh, it's all like, <laughs> it's like it's like oh my god, it's amazing. And it's got the little uh, the little wire piece for the sword. Now, uh, it's made out of it's just copper in a tube. It's like it's literally wire. It's really really good. It's, ah. it's, it's, it's a bendy thing. It's amazing. It's a twitch tie. Now, uh, one last question. I think I've got we've got time for one more, right? Sure. Okay. Uh, the uh, the beam sword effect parts. Does it come with normal beam sword and the overcharge part? Um. Well, what it's got is the uh, is the big overcharge is the big overcharge thing. It doesn't have any of the usual spindly beam sword things. Okay. Oh. It's got. Yeah, it's but it's got the whip. It's got, the, it's got the whip. It's got the beam sword. It's got the shield thingy that comes out of the whip. No, no, it's not a whip. It's a heat rod. There is a difference. No, it is a whip. If it was a heat rod, it would have the extra stun effect as well, as well as look completely different. This not is definitely this is definitely a barbed whip. True. Uh, that's okay. pretty. A sweet. barbed heated whip. Right. I mean, you could assume <laughs> that a lot of that kind of weaponry is thermal anyway. Yep. And um so yeah, that's my hopes is to eventually someday finally get uh Master Grade Wing Z Wing Zero because you know I keep putting that off because I keep No getting... no which one do you oh wait, that's right. You want the which one? The T V version? Did they release There TV? is no ma there is no Master Grade of the T V version. There's a one to one there's a one to one hundred H G, which I do have. So it's all in scale with everything else. But they do have a glorious, awesome version of the uh, Endless Waltz version. Man. It's, pretty, it's pretty sweet. Yeah. I'm and not a big fan of the Endless Waltz version. I do prefer the TV version as well because it's not because of the Angel Wings. I actually kind of like those. I uh, do feel it was yeah. better when it could transform. But, you know, what'll you, what'll you do? I gotta have that set, especially now that I've got this Epion here. It begs to have its Wing Zero <clears throat> counterpart. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. All right, now but, um, we're uh, getting short on time here, so we're gonna round things up with Rat Cell's final thoughts. Yeah. So, as usual, everyone hates on Bandai because of you know all that exclusive stuff. Yeah. But what can you do in the end? If that's what they're gonna do, that's what they're gonna do. Just uh, keep on buying the stuff and. Who knows? Maybe they'll uh, let uh, more stuff be released. Like, yeah. um, maybe we'll get more MGs of wingsuits. Yeah. Wouldn't maybe this, awesome. maybe this tall geese is indeed the proverbial genesis of new mobile suit lines that we'll be getting. Now, if anything, the wing robot Dimashis have shown me that yes, they will. They 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 might do it because we've seen robot Dimashis of the leo we've got space leo regular leo we've got a robot Dimashi of the aries coming out would you believe that yeah, yeah. i mean if those are getting it certainly i mean yeah, we... the the aries and leo at the very least were prominent i'm not going to expect them to do anything with say tragos yeah i uh... have, they done, have they done anything have they done anything with the magnax no Okay. But that would be amazing if they actually did uh, the uh, robot demise the magnets. I would buy that shit in a heartbeat because yeah, come up, like, yeah, you can, so you can buy them, you can buy them in bulk, and you can get like a make like a part set for them and stuff. Oh man, that'd be amazing. Oh but, yeah. But not to interrupt Retzel's final thought, there is one thing that I did want to say about um, OG Second that should be mentioned is that the mm -hmm. um, there were a lot of things. 
like the overall the, the overall pacing of the things. Like, you know, the EX plot is completely fleshed out. And the one thing that I notice is that the EX plot lasts from stage two on to stage seventeen. That's like a good quarter of the game. And that hardly even leaves any time to actually, you know, get all the the units you really want out, like, you know, Ryo, Forte Gigas, the the Garm Raid yeah. Blaze stuff. I, I, I honestly I felt like the EX plot took up a good massive chunk of something that, you know, sh- should have been shortened. Honestly, I think the EX plot of the game, both routes, should have been at least shorter than seventeen stages because a yeah. lot of stuff that a lot of the stuff that goes on during those plots could have been you know, shortened down. But overall, the game was great. I enjoyed it. I loved it. I would recommend As it because... As did most of them. And honestly, the, uh, OG the second, even though it's in Moon and stuff, this is one of those games I would recommend to anybody who's looking to get into the Super Robot Wars franchise because the game is very newbie-friendly. It's, you know, they, they even got a tutorial mode. Ooh. Seriously? Nice. Seriously, there uh-huh. is a... T- Oh, that would have okay. been nice the first time I played OG one. Yeah, and it's like the, the the tutorial mode is um is Kai teaching Ardo different kinds of things, you know, blah blah whatever. I don't fucking care. Huh. And you could say that this is part of that trend of making games dumbed down over the years, but I'd say fuck you. Fire Emblem's been doing the same kind of thing since way back in the day. So and, this and, is and, Super and, Robot Wars just finally getting on the train with this. I mean, it's 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 yep. it's a nice it's a nice touch, you know. It's like you no, know, it's it's great for new gamers, you know. Even though it's in Moon, they can understand what's going on and stuff, and just not jump into the game, not know what the hell's going on. But I'm I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, we've got we've got we've got more, you know. Yeah. So if it's one thing that I've got to mention is they are making a CG Captain Harlock movie. I remember Holy seeing Holy shit. On that thought, we are going to leave I'm that sorry. as our top topic for the next cast because we are indeed out of time for this edition of the RoboCast for BioCore, Red Cell, and Ass. I'm Kochiha, and that's wanna, the end of things. Go ahead. Well, hang on. I've got to – I want to do the uh, sort of – I want to say um, thank you to um, – for Shamil Angry Annan of the Solomon Express for hosting us on YouTube. I really do appreciate that. Thank you guys so much. You guys have been great. You um, guys are for, awesome. Yeah, really. I mean, and then another thing, I'm sorry I'm taking up too much time here, but there's another thing I want to mention. Shamil has a contest going on. Oh. Now, the reason behind this contest is that he's going to be taking votes on the most hated mobile suit out there and if the so kid- uh check the vi- <laughs> so go ahead and uh check that video out since it is going to be up on his channel um a lot of us have decided to vote gm just because by virtue of the fact that we want to see shamil destroy a gm it's going <laughs> to yes. be or if he can destroy a gm like like the, you know I, I, we I, don't want to we don't want to be the kind of guys that will personally say vote on gm just because we want to see a gm destroy her no your opinion is entitled to you yourself. You're, rather, you are entitled to your opinion. All yeah. right, so uh, tell them about the Twitter account. Uh, yes, we have a Twitter account, too. Uh, it's uh, under at the RoboCast. Uh, we'll post links up in the uh, the YouTube video and stuff. Uh, the web, What this is is for you know how Twitters go. If you want to ask us questions uh, about the webcast overall, if we messed up on anything, let us know. Feedback is appreciated. It's a good um, place to go to escape all of the angry YouTube commenters. Yeah. Oh and, yeah. And um and on top of that, if you if you got a question we like, we'll read it and answer it on the cast. You you never know. But go to the Twitter account, ask us questions. If you think we made mistakes, let us know.